Welcome to the replay of Geek Out Fridays, how to build your own automated original content machine. I'm your host, Damon Nelson, and this is a special replay because I forgot to turn on the record on the webinar. So uh, hopefully you're going to get even better content the second time around. So let's get started. So I want to welcome everybody to the call, waiting on a few people. I think Wayne was going to join us and Wayne will be answering questions on the side. And this is all about how to build your own automated original content machine using a WordPress site or a master site along with RSS Masher, Article Forge, and Surfer SEO. So on today's agenda, part one is why automate now? There's something happening at the end of 2021, at the beginning of 2022, that you need to pay attention to if you're a content marketer. And part two is about keyword clustering. This is the new way to effectively rank your entire website, not just one page. Part three is what tools we use to do this automated original content machine. And part four, I'm going to show you how to build your own machine. So let's get started. Now, a little background is why automate now? AI has really grown as far as copywriting and, and creating original content over the last year and a half, two years. It now has the ability to weave a list of keywords into an article in such a way that it, it actually compels humans to interact with the article and with each other. AI writing tools, they progress to the point that they often produce better quality content than ESL writers, that's English as a second language, our spun content, and the weekend bloggers. Now, most weekend bloggers, they write a really good article, but they're going to be 2,000, 3,000 words long, and they'll be great for Medium and uh, their own blog, but they'll only do one a week. What we're striving for as content marketers is we want consistent, high-frequency, high-quality articles delivered to a, a blog or a, a content management system on a regular output method of 24-7. Now, there's a new tool out, and actually it's been around, Article Forge has been around for several years, but they just uh, came out with their update uh, last June. And they had a little bugs and tweaks on it. I kind of checked it out early, and I really didn't see the significance. When you put in a single keyword, it uses AI technology to write the article. But it just didn't quite have the quality that I was looking for. Well, a few of our marketers in, in the group said, you need to use the sub keyword. So I went back and I started testing it with keyword clusters using subheading keywords along with it. I was getting some incredible results as far as quality of content, especially in the medium to long range. Um, the better you define the keywords, the better the output. And it creates some really interesting and relevant content for just about any topic out there. Now, Article Forge also does a decent job of finding relevant images and videos to add to each article it generates. And the best part, Article Forge now has a very robust API that makes it easy to automate with other tools for rapid deployment with quality output to your blog posts or your WordPress site. So part two, keyword clustering. Why is it important? And what is NLP? Keyword clusters, how to level up your SEO content strategy, making your site more Google friendly and your content more relevant. So over the last few years, Google's engineering team has directed its focus primarily on the natural language processing and a deeper understanding of how on-page content interrelates. What natural language processing is, is basically reading the site and understanding the words and how they inter interrelate with other parts of the paragraph or other parts of the article itself. Neural matching helped Google understand these synonyms. BERT, one of their most recent algorithms, has helped Google really understand the, the prepositions, the, 
the words that are the modifiers on the nouns and, and verbs that they're using inside of the uh, articles. But despite Google getting a lot smarter reading your own content, many site owners, they still optimize websites with only a few keyword targets in mind on each page. Now, this is an outdated practice, especially when we know our landing pages often end up ranking for hundreds of keywords anyway. And for those of us have, who've been following along since the early, early days of Google and all their algorithm updates, this kind of, it's like a brave new world for on-page SEO. So how do we level up our on-page optimization to match Google's current technology? Well, the answer is keyword clustering. Keyword clusters are groups of keywords that represent searchers with similar purchase intent. For example, linen curtains. Linen window curtains, white curtains, white linen curtains are different keyword phrases, but they all represent searchers who want to buy linen curtains. So let's say your brand sells linen curtains, and if you only try to rank for the first keyword, linen curtains, you end up limiting your market share. If you instead get your web page ranking for your primary keywords and the long tail variants and related subtopics, your page will often end up ranking for 10 to 20 times the amount of keywords and pick up significantly more traffic. The benefits of using keyword clustering is you're building topic clusters on your website, which will make it Google friendly and user friendly. The benefits of these keyword clusters include strong rankings for the long tail keywords, the sub keywords that you're using in writing your content, improved rankings for short tail keywords, and faster ranking improvements in the SERPs, more opportunities for internal linking, and building expertise and content authority in your industry niche. Now, I got all this content, all this strategy, from a really great article on Search Engine Journal and it's Keyword Clusters, SEO content strategies down here at the bottom of the screen here. Basically, it, it walks you through the entire process of how Google is coming up with better SEO ranking based on these keyword Very, It's wor well worth the read. So part three, what tools do we use to create this automated original content machine? Well, it's pretty simple. If you're on the call, you probably have RSS Master. If you don't, it's it's one of, it's our flagship tool. It's the thing to buy if you want to automate content. We're going to use Surfer SEO today. Now, there's other keyword tools out there that do a comparable job, but I like Surfer SEO because it will define exactly the pages that I need, do a topic cluster along with sub keywords underneath in a format that's real easy to digest and to use with RSS Masher. We're gonna explore Surfer SEO. Now we take our Surfer SEO and we put it into Article Forge, uh, which is the AI content writing tool. So this is what's gonna create the content, but it needs keywords to start this process. The content quality improves drastically as sub keywords are added to the primary topic keywords. And then finally, we need a WordPress site or a Masher site. And that's Masher sites are our proprietary auto blogging platform. And we want to have a place to put the content to where it's published so that you can do things with it, whether you're doing affiliate marketing or is this the blog to your own sites, your own software, your own services. And then finally, I have down here is Grammarly. Grammarly for WordPress works great to elevate the readability of your actual article. Now, that's after it's already been published. You can come back and, and tweak it with Grammarly. So part four, this is probably what you tuned into, is how to build your original content machine. Here is the workflow process. We are going to go out and we're going to get some keywords. We're going to have a focus keyword and it's going to build a keyword cluster. I'm going to download the file, put it into the Article Forge campaign builder, which is inside of RSS Masher, create a mash, go through and add anything I want inside the mash, put it into the schedule, and then send it off to WordPress. And then this is an automated workflow. It just keeps on building over and over until you run out of keywords that you have up here. Okay, so it's demo time. Now, before I get into the how to build your auto machine, let me show you 
what we're building, and I, I think it will make more sense to you. I've got a couple of websites here that I'm building out, and this is a new one. I started it on Tuesday, and it's about gardening tips, DIY gardening tips, practical gardening tips for beginner gardeners. So what I did was I did some keyword research inside of Surfer. I found the the highest uh, search volume topic keywords, garden tips, vegetable gardens, beginners, gardening, and herb gardening. Okay. And of course I got a privacy policy up there. And then I built cluster pages on top of it. I'm about to show you how to, how to do it, but let's take a look at one of these blogs, how to grow parsley and other herbs. Okay. Categories, latest posts. Now this is your basic blog uh, theme is one of the free themes, uh, but this is a well-written article and I haven't done anything except publish it. And it has a video down below. Now I turned off the featured image on this one. Now I can turn it back on, but let's look at some of the other ones. Let's go to garden tips, another category. Uh, let's see, tips for planting carrots. Okay. And this one I tuned up a little bit. I went in and I just broke up the paragraph, used the editor in WordPress, and create some H3 tags. Got a couple of H3s, did some bolding, italics, just to kind of punch in the, the, the content that really is the important part. So this is designed for scanners, people that just want to go through and scan through and quickly read, but it keeps people on the page. So the soil must be a pH of 6.5. So this talks a little bit about pH value. Uh, why, why you need to plant carrots in a pot, you need to plant them in a row, <laughs> okay? So good basic information about planting carrots. This is just one of about 100 articles that Article Forge is creating just for this website, okay? So let's take a look at Amazing Hamburger. Now all these over here were created with Article Forge and RSS Masher. So here's one right here. Best oil for searing steak. I bet you didn't know there's multiple oils. <laughs> so I actually learned something as I'm going through here. So I've got the featured image in here. I've got the title in the in the content. I also have the title up here. So I've kind of broke it up a little bit. This is uh, H3 tags. So let's talk about olive oil and then peanut oil uh, and then Crisco. Got did a little bit of italics. I even made some bullet points in here. Anytime it's, it's given me more than one item for a topic, I'll just go ahead and bullet point it. Uh, you can use grapeseed oil. And then it has a, a, a bit of a conclusion here. Once you found the right product, you can use it for cooking. And for the best flavor, look for high smoke point oil. Actually, I didn't even know that. Uh, got a good video in here. Don't let these oils... Uh, so it's telling you which oils not to use, okay? I got tags, I've got some affiliate offers. This is a ClickBank offer. I make a couple sales a month off of this. And then other articles. And these were all created with Article Forge. How smoke fall off bone smoked ribs. That actually sounds pretty good, okay? Good images on here and this is a nice article. Fall off the bone spare ribs. Okay. So this is amazing hamburger. And I'm doing all this with Article Forge. Here's one I, I did. I made a featured. Here's another. A Dem, what is a Denver steak cut? Think of fajita meat that tastes really good. This is what a Denver steak is. And I, this one I went in and tweaked a little bit, add some italics, pulled, uh, kind of broke the paragraphs apart, put some H3 tags in there. This takes all of maybe five minutes. You don't need to do all of them, just do a few of them. Okay. And it's after I published into WordPress. Okay. Now, this one uh, is our primary sales page, is RSS Master Technology. So we have a blog section. And it's strictly to get content traffic into the blog with the hope of sell, upselling them into RSS Master Technology. So here's some articles. What is RSS feed in WordPress? Good article. So good image. Now I'm doing image swaps here. 
So the image may not actually match up to the title, but it looks pretty decent in there. Here's a good video to go with it. Okay. And let's see. Here is, here's one I, I modified just a second ago. Best HTML and CSS editors. Get, I, again, I made some H3 tags, did some metallics, kind of broke up the sentences a little bit. And never even rewrote anything. I just just made it easier to read and made it readable for people that scan articles. Okay? So that's the focus. You know, tweak it just a little bit. Plus, I use Grammarly to fix things up. So let's take a quick look. These are three different blogs, three different types, three different purposes I'm using them for. And this one here, DIY Gardening, I think I have 80 articles since I started uh, on, I think, Tuesday. That's when I uh, built the site. So there's Herb Gardens, How to Grow Parsley and Others, Herb Garden Designs, garden, Cottage Garden Layouts for Old Fashioned Gardens. So really nice. Somebody asked earlier is what theme are you using? I'm using Blog Bell by Sensational Themes. It's a free one. Okay. Okay. Now let's go back to I'll show this again. I want to go back to the the actual workflow. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Surfer, and I've got another topic I want to add to my garden theme. Okay, and Garden Article Forge, we're going to get a CSV, create an Article Forge campaign, and send it to the Mash. Okay. Now, what I had done earlier is I went into Content Planner. Now, I want, to, I want to start off from the very beginning. So I go over here to keyword search and type in garden tips. Okay. And instead of running it again, I've already run it. So I'm just going to show you the results. Okay. Now, it's going to find the search volume and look for similarities in the SERP rankings. Okay. So you could tell garden tips, tips regarding all these are very, very similar words. What I want to do is I want to find topics that I can arrange around garden tips. So I'm going to instead search for search volume. Okay. So vegetable gardens, that's one of my categories. I'm going to make, and I can call it vegetable gardening. I'm looking over here, it's still the same search volume, high search volume. Okay. And plant gardens, beginner gardener. So, Gardening for beginners, new to gardening, gardening for the home. Maybe that's a different category right there. And then I found that one for herb gardening in here. So that's how I came up with my topics. I went over here to Content Planner and I typed in some keywords to put in there. Okay. So Content Planner, let's go down to Herb Gardens. So when you type in the word, it's going to give you, um, it, it will take five minutes to 10 minutes to generate a, a content plan for you. So it's saying if you're going to focus on the keyword herb gardens, you need 108 clusters, which that translates to 108 pages for the main topic. Now, are you going to write 108 pages yourself? Probably not. You probably not even pay a content writer. But if we could automate this for you, would you do it? And if you did it in five minutes or less, that makes it even better. So the beauty about this is when you type in a word, and I'm going to type in something that I need uh, for how to cook a steak. Okay, this is a little bit longer to keyword, but I can make some really good content off of this. So I'm going to hit create content planner. Now this process will take about five minutes. But meanwhile, let's look at um, I was back in Herb Gardens. So if I go in here and I just download it, and let's take a look at what the spreadsheet actually looks like. So I'm going to come over here. This is a CSV file. I'm going to click on Select All. 
and format auto fit column width. Okay. So these are my topic keywords, which are going to be my primary keywords that I send off to Article Forge. These are the sub keywords that go with it. It also gives you search volume, cluster volume, and total traffic for this cluster. It's what they're estimating per month. Difficulty. So this is going to be how difficult. 10 is going to be your highest, most difficult. One is going to be the definitely the easiest one to, to rank for. Now, I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to look for any strange anomalies. Sometimes I'll find something in here. Uh, growing cilantro. That's kind of a very popular word. Okay. So this is all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And let's just save it. Make sure it's saved in this format. And we're ready to go. Okay. Now let's see if, let's see if our other, okay, how to cook a steak. It's ready to go. Okay. I need 137 clusters. So this is going to be a more competitive keyword. I need more content to go with it. How to cook a steak. Well done. Cast iron steak, air fryer steak. That's interesting. Uh, recipes for ribeye, reverse searing steak. Great, great content. So again, I'm going to come over here, download it. And I'm going to go ahead and copy how to cook a steak. Okay. Now I'm going to come into RSS Masher. I'm going to go to my external content, Article Forge campaign. And click add. How to cook a steak. Okay. Now I'm going to be adding it to here. And we can put it under grilling tips. So that would be probably a good category there. So let's take a look at how it comes in. How to cook a steak. I'll hit update. I don't want to make it active until I actually bring. Now you can bring in one keyword at a time and then add your sub keywords, or you can do a CSV list. This is probably easier, a lot easier. And go ahead and set these as your defaults. So I want title on. I want the length to be medium, include an image, include a video. So that's how I want to bring them in. So I want to hit upload. Now, you can do a basic CSV upload or you can do a Surfer SEO. I'm going to ignore the first line because that's where the, the titles were. Come over here and to downloads. Okay, there's my how to cook a steak. And I'm going to hit upload. And that's all it takes. Now, I'm going to come in down here and or come up here, hit Activate, hit update. Okay. Now it should, if you've got your settings right on, on your article forge is it should start within five, 10, 15 minutes, and it should have you at least one article in the next probably 15 minutes. Now I have a timer where Wayne has built us a timer. So, you may not want to run it 24 seven because it will crank out a 500 word article for what I've set up every five minutes. It does a round robin. So it's going to look at every active campaign, do one from each every five minutes. And then it will cycle back up to the very top. So I've got it. So I'm running it from three o'clock to basically six o'clock in the evening. And it's based on whatever time zone you set up here. Okay. Hit update. And this is the integration. This is the only thing you have to do is put in your API key and turn all this on. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and check usage. Okay. That looks pretty decent. Yeah. And now I'm going to come over to see where we're at. See if it's made one yet. Okay. So it's planning on doing 137 articles and it's, I'm sitting here waiting for it to crank out the very first one. Okay. Now this is one I just set up garden tips and I'm going to go in and take a look at it. Okay. 
Now, I want the title in the content for my WordPress sites. I also want um, to remove the initial styling and place image at top, make campaign active. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, everything set up like I like it, and I'm going to hit refresh. Okay. So it's created one in the, set this new one up. So you can kind of hit preview down here to see what it's doing. Okay. So video, and here's an image. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's tall, <laughs> and it's got text in it. So it, it may not be an image I want in my WordPress site. I may want to do an image swap. Well, that's the benefit of using RSS Masher. Okay. So I'm going to hit update and finish. Okay. And let's see if we got... Okay, so let's go ahead and set up a mash for this one here. Now, the beauty about this is you can let these things run. You don't have to create your mash right now. Whenever you create your mash, it will come in and start running the, the ones in there. Now, I've already got all these set up, so I'm going to go ahead and set up another mash. And let's go with Herb. Garden Tips, AF, and then this is a new series. I already have one created, so I want to make sure it goes into the right folder. And this is just to keep organized here. And that's all you need. Now, if you're going to run multiple uh, Article Forge campaigns, you can rotate them, how they appear in the publishing, just by clicking one article from each feed. Since I only have one feed, I'm doing just one feed at a time. Okay. Now you can come up. I'd recommend not use these other tabs. Just if you're doing Article Force, just use this tab. You can put in websites, uh, RSS feeds, and YouTube, but I'm just going to use Article Forge. That way, I know if if something goes wrong, I can kind of diagnose it pretty quick. Okay. So there's Garden Tips Article Forge new. Okay and it is ready to go. Now you can do a spin content with Word AI if you have Word AI integrated here, but I'm going to skip that because this is original article. I don't really need to spin it. Okay. Now, next step is, is do you want to do an image replace? So I'm going to take a look at it both ways. Um, right now, I'm not going to do an image replace. Keyword filters, you don't want a keyword filter at all on this because these are the topic keywords that you wanted. Money hooks. Now, in the past, if you're doing RSS feeds, we recommend doing a citation and read more. Well, if you're doing this, you're the you're the author of it. So you don't need to put anything down here. Now, what I would use money hooks for is maybe put in some custom tokens. In fact, uh, I'm just going to put in here uh, workout plans as an example. Okay, so I've got some money hook affiliate ads in this new workout plans. And I'm using this just more for demonstration right now. Okay, update successful. Anchor text. You can do keyword replacements inside your content just by putting the keyword here and the URL, number of occurrences you want. It, you can go up to three occurrences. This is the same as if you were doing RSS feeds or YouTube feeds or Google Sheets. I'm just kind of showing you how I'm going to set it up. I'm not going to do any anchor text right now. Advance, completely skipping that. Build. Build and preview. Okay. Now this is using the image that Article Forge gave us. And it's got the, the title in the content. And you got your video down here. Okay. Now we have unlock your hip flexors. That's this is a text link to a looks like probably an Amazon product. Uh, so let's go back here and take the money hooks. Let's just give you a, a better example than this. Let's say I had grill tools from Amazon. Now again, I've set up my anchor 
my custom tokens that are set up up here. And we'll hit update. But you can put anything. We accept spin text in here. I've, I've got grill tools on spin. And let's come over here to build and just test it with new money hooks. Okay, there's your article. There's my Amazon grilling. So you could put in Amazon products that are gardening related. In fact, that's what I'm going to do before I, before I send this, uh, this one live here. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to do one more thing. I don't like the images on that first one. So I'm going to come over to an image pack. Now you can do Google, you can do Pixabay, and if you got these integrated in, set them up in integrations, and then put your keywords up here. So I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to do my own image pack. Now I made one the other day, it's gardening. I've got a hundred images. They're pretty decent. Replace that first image. I don't need to skip anything. This is Article Forge and hit update. Okay, hit build and preview web. Hey, that looks pretty good. I like that article. Now these are all 1280 by 720, perfectly sized, ready to go. And everything looks good. Okay. Now let's come back over here. I'm going to go ahead and take that money hook off because it's not barbecue related. And hit update. Okay, come back over here, build and build. I'll take one last look, make sure it's, everything's right. Okay, there's another image, so it's in rotation. And we are ready to go. Finish and activate. Okay, now we have our mash. That was part one. We went in, did the setup, we did an image swap, and you don't have to use image swap, but I like using them because I can control the images that go in there. And I make them with Canva, save them as an image pack in the marketplace. Okay. Or you can use our own images that we have in there. Now we're going to be adding a lot more image packs because we, we had to build some for booster pages. So we're a lot more niches and categories that you can choose from. Uh, build and preview. I've kind of skipped all this right here and now I'm going to schedule it. Okay. Come over here to schedule. Manage schedules. And I'm going to do add garden tips AF new. So I've got two different Article Forge campaigns going into one category. In an ideal world, I just combine those two campaigns together into one mash, one schedule. But for this demo, I wanted to show you how I'm actually making this from scratch. Okay. And group is, remember we organized it. So I want this one. That's the new one. Okay. Now I have a template that I like using for my article forge. I don't want to send so many articles over there that I'm, I'm spamming and jamming with it. I want to drip feed them like a normal person would write an article. They're not going to do a hundred in one category per day, unless they're using some type of automation tool. So I want my sites to look like a human is actually writing these. Okay. And copy from template. It copies this template into this setting. Now you can come in and tweak these. In fact, I want to move that to there. Start this later in the day, end it earlier in the day. Let's put them about maybe 37 minutes apart and I'll make it active in just a second. And I want to save it in the right group schedule folder, hit update. Okay. Now that's the first part. We've kind of set up when it's going out. Now we need to say where it's going out to. So it's going to a WordPress site. It's going to my DIY gardening tips. Now, if you were limited on, if you got like maybe a standard license and you're limited, you can run all of your campaigns, do a round robin to random category. So you can have multiple campaigns in one mash going to one schedule to one website and just randomize it. But I want to go, I want to give Google what they're asking for. I want it semantic, semantically related to the category that it's going in. So the topic clusters for garden tips, 
I'm putting into a category called garden tips. So when you look at the, the pet cottage garden layouts for old fashioned gardens, this is in herb gardens and this has something to do with herb gardens, vegetable gardens. If I go in here and choose a vertical vegetable garden, um, there's some linking that we're doing in here. Okay. That looks good. And it's, DIY gardening tips, Google seeing that, then it's seeing, oh, it must be about vegetable gardens. And then the title actually relates to vegetable gardens. This is old school SEO, but it still works. And you do some internal linking, cross linking as well. Okay. So let's go back over here. I'm going to put it in garden tips and it's not a draft. I don't need to read more. I want to use first image. Upload all images, post the content, create tags. Now I've got part of the API club, so I am going to do some auto tagging. So let's put three of them in there. I also want to put in here, this is garden tips. I want to put the category in here. So the category becomes a tag at the same time. And I have an overall category called gardening. So if somebody types in gardening, there's a whole lot of content that goes up with it. And if they're in the category or another category and they hit the garden tips category tag, then it's going to show garden tips. Okay. Now I'm not spinning in this case. I'll go ahead and send it to link processor and I'm going to silo the category. So it's going to have links internally to, to other posts within the garden tips category. So I'm keeping a silo for this one right here. Okay. Now I'm going to send it to banner bear. I'm going to do a smart crop right here. It's 1200 by 630 and I'm going to hit update. Okay. And banner bear is going to do a smart crop with the image. What that means is if there's people in it, it's going to do a face, a face focus image. If there's, if it's an odd size, it's still going to do a, a face focus image and it's going to crop to 1200 by 630 and it's going to save it as a JPEG. So it's, it's also putting it in an optimized format for what we're using it for and what booster pages can use it for. Okay. So I'm set up, ready to go almost. Now I'm going to send it to my own masher site. I have a link pin, kind of like a Pinterest page, like my own little booster page. So it is going to a master site and it's called quick view news. So if you want to build your own booster page, internal PBN network, create you some master sites, quick view news. And this is going to be home and garden. Okay. And I want to point it back to WordPress. No spinning needed. I'll go ahead and hit link processor. Now I've already done banner bear cropping. So I don't need to do banner bear again. I'm going to hit update. Okay. Now I want to send it to booster pages. I'm going to hit booster pages. Choose a niche and hobbies. I know where this one is and let's do gardening. Okay. And I'm going to point it back to WordPress. Okay. And I'm going to do one more. Let's put it with a Twitter account. And it is going to go to, uh, let's let Oscar talk about it. So tweet this WordPress post. Now it's going to take the title and put a link and an image with it and then go to Twitter. Okay. So I want to use Riley. I'm going to put some two hashtags in there and I'm going to auto emojify, meaning I'm going to, make the title and put some emojis on it. What we have found is when you use emojis with Twitter, you get a lot better click through rate. So if you got the API club, this is the smart thing to do is add your auto emojis in there. Yeah. Let's go ahead and send it to the link processor, uh, templates. I don't need a template. I've already made one with my WordPress and we're going to use that one optimized image for everything. Okay. Now I'm going to add one more and can actually send it to Zapier. Now Pinterest is not working as uh, hopefully someday we'll get a new API with it. Um, okay. Zapier. 
great cooking tips, motivational quotes. Okay, I'm gonna pretend like it's, this is a Zapier webhook. And again, I would send it to WordPress, use Rightly, and to Pot Emojify, and I could skip that. Now, this is going to go to Social Bee. Zapier is sending it to Social Bee. Social Bee is my content scheduler and it handles all my Facebook groups. I got, I think, 30, 30 something Facebook groups that I manage. Now, the Facebook groups are where I do my social media marketing. I do have one Instagram. I just, Instagram is, it's a challenge. I'm not an influencer. I don't want to be an influencer. Facebook groups are more how to niche stuff. Also, at the same time, I'll send it to LinkedIn profiles if I'm if, for certain projects. Um, I can send it to uh, Twitter again. I, I can add, I've got several Twitter accounts inside social media, but primarily I, I'll use them for Facebook groups and Facebook pages. Okay. So keep that in mind. This is how I get in, in, into Facebook is through Zapier. Okay. And I'll hit update. And home remodeling, it, when it goes to Zapier, Zapier's telling there's a there's a connection, so I'm sending it to multiple Facebook groups on a skit on different schedules. Okay, so it's very random how it's going, or it's 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 very structured how it's going out. It but it looks random to anybody trying to track it. Okay. Now once I'm done, I hit update. I'm going to make it active. Now I'm going to hit update and finish. Okay, I have me a new campaign. And again, I, I could have just combined these together, but I want to show you one from the very beginning. Okay, now let's see if, let's come back over to ex external content, look at Article Forge, and okay, I've got one, how to cook a steak. Now I can create a mash with it because I have at least one there. So let's go into manage mash. We'll do it all over again. Because I want you to be very proficient at how to do this, is create your, go into your, I'll start from scratch. I've created, I created a how to cook a steak. Let Surfer do all this. Now you, again, you can use other tools and we have another video on how to do that. But I like this. It, it gives me all the right information. It's not the cheapest one in town, but it does it right. And then I hit download. I went over to a spreadsheet. It created a spreadsheet for me and it's a, saved it as a CSV format. Then I came back in here. I hit add, how to cook a steak. I hit add and I added it in as upload CSV. Now I can upload again the surfer. Now let me show you a trick. I've got 132 articles in there. Here's a great way to add another 132 articles without doing anything special. I'm going to come over here. So we've uploaded it once. It's still in CSV format. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and do data, filter, and watch what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do home, just so we see everything, format, auto fit, uh, column width, how to cook a steak. I got, I did data filter. And the reason I did data filter is I want to come over here and do sort. Now I have headers here, so I want to sort by cluster name. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is I want to sort by keyword, sort by keyword. Okay, A to Z. Now what that's going to do is it's going to give me the same clusters, but instead of being sorted by search volume, it's going to be sorted by keyword. Okay. Now, if I come over here and turn off the filter, save as, and I'm going to put on here how to cook a steak. And we'll just say um, keyword sort. 
comma delimited, hit save. Now by sending the exact same topics over, but the keywords are in different order. And if you'll notice, there's 15 keywords here. And that means that Article Forge is only going to use five, the top five keywords. So we're going to give RSS Masher everything, but RSS Masher is going to deliver these keywords and Article Forge is only going to pick the first five. Okay. Now I hit save and done. Okay. Now come back in to here to RSS Masher and how to cook a steak, upload CSV, surfer, ignore first line, and browse. Okay. And there it is, keyword sort. Okay. And hit upload. Okay, so just for grins, let's take a look at keyword, air fryer steak. So we should have two. We've uploaded the exact same file twice. But look at the sub keywords. It's only going to use the first five. So this is air fryer steak recipe. How do I cook a steak in air fryer? How to cook a steak in air fryer? Medium rare steak in air fryer. The next one will be air fryer porterhouse steak, air fryer steak cooking time. So you can see that I've got different keywords, so I'm going to get a different article. But what that really means for me is, let's go back to ID, how to cook a steak. Okay, hit refresh and hit update and finish. Now I've got a lot of content coming across, so what I'm going to do is it's a round robin, meaning all the actives, it's going to do this one, and it's going to go up and do this one, and do this one. So it's five minutes apart for every one of them. Now, I've got enough content marketing, so I'm just going to change the active. I've got enough garden tips on this first run, I can just change active. Okay. So now it's only working with one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight of them. Okay. So by taking them off active, it's going to pull more from this because it's not, it doesn't have as much to work with. Five minutes here, five minutes here, five minutes here. So as soon as we get one back, it goes to the next campaign and pulls another one. Okay. So the next one that this is going to pull is probably going to be, uh, got, yeah, about nine. So it's nine times five minutes, 45 minutes from now, it will pull another one, which is fine. Okay. So, how to cook a steak. Let's go over here to Manage Mashes and give it a name. I want to name it the same as my campaign, How to Cook a Steak. Article Forge. Okay, and we're ready to go. Come down here, and it's going to go to Amazing Hamburger. Update. Okay, come over here to Article Forge, How to Cook a Steak. How to cook a steak. There we go. Gotta hit the green button to make it come in here. And I'm just gonna skip this. This this will work no matter what number you're putting in there. It's how many articles it pulls at a time. And since we only have one over there, it really doesn't matter what I have it set to. So I'm gonna come over here and build preview web. Ooh. That might work. It's a good image. Good content. And this is, if you want to serve your, you need to know how to cook a steak, a good tip to use a meat thermometer. Okay. Works. And I'm going to come over here, finish and activate. Now, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, article Forge, How to Cook a Steak, Edit. Uh, okay. I should have taken that off. Let me see. Okay, that campaign's active. 
since I'm sending it to WordPress, is I want to include the title in the content. I don't want to remove it. So that first one won't have it, but all the others uh, will include the title and the content. It's just the way the, the site is set up. It takes the title, puts it up here, gets the author when it's published and date and time, and then puts the image. I want to repeat the title. This title is actually sitting in the content as an H1. Okay. I'll show you, um, I think this one. Okay. I did put it in there also. Um, but it, it, it really depends on how your website's set up. Sometimes the title is just above the content on a WordPress theme. And if you have that, and then you have the title in the content right below it, you're repeating the title right side by side. So I don't want to, I, I want to let this flow right here. Okay. Update and finish. Okay. So I've created my mash. I'm going to come over here to schedule and it schedules. And I want to add a schedule. And it is the group, so I can find it easy. It's amazing hamburger. And I'll just name the schedule the same. How to cook a steak. Article Forge. Okay. Select the mash. How to cook a steak right here. Okay. Again, I'm going to choose the Article Forge posting schedule. And let's just bump that up. I like to change these around every time I do this. So they're not all posting at the same time or the same duration. Uh, 64 minutes apart. Make it active. I'll hit update. Actually, I want to save it as Amazing Hamburger. There we go. Hit update. I'll turn it off for right now. I want to get my settings correct. So add, add is WordPress. It's going to Amazing Hamburger. And let's do cooking tips. I don't, grilling tips, recipes, just put it cooking tips. Okay. And use first image, upload all images. Post to content. I don't want to exclude that first image. Sometimes some themes will put a, a featured image and then it will put your first image. And if they're the same, it, they'll look the same. So I don't want to do that. Create tags with Riley. Sure. Give me a couple. And again, I'm going to put cooking tips here. And let's give it another topic. How to cook steaks. Okay. And skip all that. Link processor, silo, and let's smart crop it. Hit update. And put it into masher sites. I'm going to do a masher site. And it's quick view news is what I'm looking for. Quick view news. And let's see. There should be a Technology, home and garden, cooking. Okay. Point it back to the WordPress. Don't, I'm not going to spin it. I'm going to send it to link. I've got this already done, so I don't need that. And I'm going to do a booster page with it. Okay. Hobbies. Let's just put it under cooking. Recipes, grilling, cooking tips. Let's put it under that. Go back to WordPress with it. Hit update. Done. Now, I think I have a Twitter in here. I can tweet out at the same time. Let's do that. Twitter. And Amazing Hamburger. Send it to Twitter. Use Riotly. Put a couple of hashtags in there. And Auto Emojify it. Link Processor. I don't need a banner bear template. I've already made one in WordPress. Good. I'm good to go. Um, let's hit... Let's go ahead and send it. I think I've got a zap also. Might as well go ahead and make it live. Zap here. Amazing hamburger. WordPress. Uh, rightly. A couple of hashtags. Some emojis. No template needed. I've already made one. Okay. Hit up. Make it active. 
hit update and finish. Okay, so now I have a schedule ready to send how to cook a steak. Now this will probably start in the next five, 10 minutes. We'll, we'll check it later, okay? So I can get close these windows out. Hope everybody understands. I'm gonna go back to the flowchart one more time. And we started here, how to cook a steak, came down, made an Article Forge campaign called How to Cook a Steak, put the CSV file in there, and then we went over here to MASH. Now I also uh, flipped the sorting order and saved it as a, another CSV and uploaded that CSV. So I've got plenty of content for a long time to come on, on how to cook a steak, okay? Sent it to MASH, we created a MASH, I did a MASH setup. I didn't do any image replace on this one. Build, preview, and activate, sent it to a schedule, direct to WordPress, and I added backlinking through social syndication with Twitter, Blogger, Tumblr. I, I didn't use Tumblr and Blogger, but I used a MASHer site. I also used booster pages. I sent it to Zapier, which they all point back to this one WordPress. This is the social syndication, okay? I also use the API Club, of which then I, I use Link Processor, I use Rightly, and I use Banner Bear, okay? So I hope all this makes sense. Uh, it is, once you do a couple of them, it becomes really easy to do and really easy to set up, especially if you've got a good keyword research tool, okay? Now, I wanna show you one thing before we go here is, you can create a, a keyword CSV yourself with your primary column and then five additional columns. And I think I've got it here. So if you don't have a tool like CSV and you want to build your own, you can certainly build your own and this is how you would build it. You would put a your primary keyword column right here. Your first sub keyword set, second, third, fourth, fifth. So you're basically using six columns and then you're gonna go in. The next thing you'll do is you're gonna save it as a CSV comma delimited, okay? Give it a name, save it, okay? And then lastly, when you, how to smoke meats, you'll bring it in as a CSV CSV, but you're going to do a basic CSV upload and give it a upload the CSV. Now, if you have headers, you can skip that first line where the headers are, but in this example, I didn't have headers, so I wouldn't check that. And then you hit upload and you're ready to go. It takes a little bit more time, but it's just as effective as using a Surfer SEO. The issue with Surfer is it does it automatically for you. And we upload that particular because that's what we use. We, we believe in its content is better quality than using like Google Keyword Planner or Keywords Everywhere. Okay. So hope that helps. And I'll let me close these windows out. We'll get back to. If you don't have Article Forge or Surfer or RSS Master, here's your links. We do get a commission, affiliate commission off Article Forge and Surfer. That's how we pay for our Geek Out Fridays. So guys, if you enjoy this type of training, we don't charge for it. We hope you use our links. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this call. Uh, that's our, our time right now. As a replay, I don't have any questions because nobody's on the call. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Uh, if you do have questions, Put them down below in the Facebook group, or if this is on YouTube, put them in YouTube, and we'll try to answer them. It's, it's pretty easy to do, but if you don't ever try it, it looks really hard. I built my garden tips. It, it took longer to find the keywords than it did to actually build the machine, as you saw with the herb gardens, the vegetable gardens. Once I got it all set up, got them running, uh, it just it does this automatically. So. Very, very, very excited about the future of automated original content from AI tools like Article Forge and other tools similar to it. 
Um, so I will see you on another call. Thank you for attending Geek Out Friday and watching this show. And um, be sure to check out the resources. They're, these are great tools. I try not to recommend anything that we don't use ourselves. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you on another call. Bye-bye.